guys really, really played well. Uh, and I know that that's a simplistic statement, but Mason's got a great team. Uh, I'm really proud of the way our guys executed our game plan. We guarded them in a variety of different defenses. And I think to hold them to 25 points in the first half, that really set the tone. Uh, these three young men up here with me really led the way. Phenomenal performances by all three of them. But we got to turn the page quickly. We got one more game to get where we want to go. Uh, Shaka, this is the second day in a row you guys have come out very fast, very aggressive. In fact, they executed your game plan almost perfectly. And I just wondered <coughs> what you did to get them ready to play that way. It's not really what I did. It's a, it's a sense of urgency that our guys had going into the tournament. And as you know, we didn't play our best basketball in February. We knew we had to be better. Uh, the only thing I did is told them that that month is over and that we had to come out and attack. You know, these, these teams in the CAA, they're not going to give you anything. It's too good of a league. You have to go take it from them. And I think for, for two consecutive days, we've done that now. But two's not good enough. We've got to make it three. I'll let them talk about that. They're the ones that made the shots. Yes, about the three-point shooting. Um, well, today, I don't know what, what happened to me. I, I never took six threes in, in one game in my life, not even in AAU. But I mean, I just felt like I could knock them down, and it was leaving me open. So I was just letting it fly. Coach, you switch defenses a lot, and Mason never really seemed to get comfortable, especially in the middle part of the game. How important was that in? holding them down? It was huge. They, they have a very, very talented offensive team. And you just can't let them get in rhythm. And similar to what we did last, yesterday, we, just, we knew that if we switched to some zone, we could get them on their heels a little bit. Then we switched back to man. They, they, they didn't necessarily know what we were in at times. We actually used two different zones. And I, I think that really helped us. But the, the reality is, whatever defense you're playing, you got to play with aggressiveness and you got to rebound out of it and that's what our guys did and they did they, they came out of the half uh, made and they made a run they made some shots but that's what good teams are going to do you know a team like George Mason it's, I think they've won 16 games in a row they're not just going to let you just roll over them they're going to come back and attack and I think they cut it to seven and in the second half early in the second half but our guys showed a great deal of resolve We've been talking about that a lot over the last several days. No matter what, we hung in here, uh, we hung in there, our guys stayed together, and we kept fighting. Coach, I wonder if you could talk about the challenges that both these teams present Old Dominion and Hofstra playing in this next game. To us? Uh, well, I thought you wanted me to preview that game. Uh, well, they both are going to play a lot of zone. And uh, so whichever one of them that we play tomorrow night, uh, we're going to have to be sharp playing against zone. And we've played 80 minutes in a row now against all man-to-man. -man. Uh, we've got good shooters. We've got guys that can attack against the zone. So, you know, we'll be fine. But, uh, you know, ODU, uh, their style of play speaks for itself. Extremely aggressive, physical, great rebounding team. We're going to have to really uh, match their level of intensity on the glass, their physicality. Hofstra's got one of the best players in the country, the best player in our conference, and we're going to have to do a great job on him. I thought Ed did a phenomenal job last time guarding him at the Siegel Center. Uh, so if we play them, you know, it starts and ends with Jenkins. And obviously the confidence having beaten both those teams earlier in the season. Yeah, I mean, anytime you've beaten a team once, you know you can do it again. In fact, Mason was the only team in the league that we hadn't beaten this year. So, you know, we had a sense of urgency, and, uh, you know, I think it helped – Mason came in with a swagger. They came in with some confidence. They were talking some trash. And, you know, one thing about these guys up here with me, they are extremely competitive. And when you challenge them, they always step up. I'll call us today. Mike Morrison fouled out Ryan Pearson, um, who usually, you know, scores high points, gets a lot of rebounds. Uh, he had four, was limited to 10 points. Um, was that part of your game plan? Were you expecting it to work this well against Mason team? Well, we got the best big man in the league. So you know, part of our game plan is always to get him the ball and then to attack. And then I think all of our guys, Jamie included, 
uh, when we did go to the basket, did a nice job going strong and forcing contact. I said it yesterday, when there's a foul on the offensive end, 90-some percent of the time it's on the defense. So the, the advantage goes to the offense. We're going to need to do the same thing again tomorrow. We're going to need to be extremely aggressive. And if we are the aggressor, then we'll be in good shape. Shaka, you like to play a pressure defense, and you like to get after people full court. Good teams tend to see that and be able to handle it. These two teams you've played this, this weekend have, are good teams, but you guys have sort of raised it up a notch, and I'm wondering why that is. Because we want to win. Uh, I mean, it, I don't want I mean to sound overly simplistic, but I think uh, an old coach told me one time, he said, and he was a pressing coach, he said, when your guys really want to press, that's when you're good in the press. And that's the case. I mean, our, our guys have been aggressive. And we've used it here and there because we knew Mason was going to be very good attacking the press. And we didn't want to give up any easy baskets. We've mixed in zone. Uh, tomorrow, we'll, we'll use a little bit different game plan depending on who we play. But it, it's all about want to at this time of year. Every team that's around still in this tournament, you know, in the semifinals, is a team that's capable of winning it. And it's who wants it the most and who's willing to follow through on doing all the little things to win. Who is that old coach? It's actually a high school coach named Al Allen at Oak Park High School in Chicago.